Yeah, we certainly do. Um, it's been a incredible four days, really. Um, great test to be a part of. Um, you know, obviously was in fast forward on day one and, and day two a little bit, and then you know, the last two days have been have been real hard work, you know, tough test cricket. Um, obviously, we spent a lot of time in, in the field, so um, you know. But to bad to to bat out tonight and to be non down at the close was was extremely you know quality batting. So um, you know, credit to them. But we've put in some hard yards over four days. We've got a big day tomorrow to um, hopefully hopefully force a um, force a fifth, fifth day win. You know, there's a long way to go. Obviously, it's a, a, a day five test match um, to go all the way and. You know, to chase down that score would be be an incredible effort. Um, you know, uh, it would be a, a great a great chase, obviously. But you know, we have to tick it off slowly. Um, the guys have done a great job tonight. Got us in a good position to start starting a good good place tomorrow. Um, you know, we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. Naturally, I think you have to go away and, and realise that tomorrow morning is going to be going to be tricky again. Get to ninety on a day five pitch. You know always sounds like a, a tough ass, but we've got to keep reminding ourselves that this pitch is, is still good for batting and that we can and do it if we bat well all the way down. This team has, um, has done some special things over the, the last few years as an England team, uh, all different formats. And you know, these are the times where you want to be a part of it, you know, on a, on a day five chase um, and to try and do something special as a team is a great place to be. And, you know, we've certainly got the belief that we can go and go and get the win. Um, a lot of hard work still needs to, needs to be done, um, but yeah, you can draw on those experiences. I think um, you know, look on, on what we've done in the past, what we're we're capable of as a team. Um, and a lot of time, it's just a matter of believing and, and believing that you've got the ability to do that, and then going out and executing. So um, hopefully, we can do that. We always felt like it, it's, it's been a good wicket. It's been hard. To, to um, to get wickets in that second innings, um, you know we obviously all had plenty of overs under our under our belts. By the time we get to that point, and you know sometimes you can you know look too far ahead. I think if we stayed in the moment, which we tried to do, we always felt like you know you can always take a hundred runs off their score um, with us being in front uh, for the first innings. It felt like give you a little bit whatever they got in the end, maybe a bit more than that. Um, always felt that they actually probably could have got more than what they did. So I think you always try and look at it from a you know, sensible point of view. And you know, we've done some hard yards, but it felt like it was a good enough wicket to uh, um, to be able to chase any score. I think we all bowled 45 overs plus in the game. Uh, and naturally, you're going to be a little bit sore. I think we, um, you know, I speak to Jimmy and particularly in that second inch, we felt that, you know, there's occasions in England where you can kind of just maybe bowl at about 90%, but we felt like on this second innings, you really had to, to slam every ball into the pitch to get anything out of it. Um, and naturally that takes it out of you. So um, there's a few sore bodies in the dressing room from the bowling unit, but you know, you'd expect that the amount of time we've, we've been in the field. Um, and, you know, thankfully, we'll hopefully be able to, to recover tomorrow in terms of the fact that we won't be bowling. And, you know, get the medics and the medical medical staff on into us, and um, you know, give us give us some love, and uh, I'm sure we'll be fine. But naturally, a few uh, few aches and pains, as you'd imagine.